Hello, everybody. We are the News 19 Nerds. I'm Michael. I'm Lauren, and we have your top nerd news of the week. And it starts right now. The Blue Blur is a big hit at the box office. Sonic the Hedgehog took the number one spot in theaters, bringing in more than $70 million over the President's Day weekend. Variety reports it's the best showing all time for a video game movie during its opening weekend. Based on the classic Sega game, the movie sees a small town officer team up with Sonic to take on the evil Dr. Robotnik. With no direct competition, Sonic has a chance to repeat this weekend as well. The legit boss could make her way to a galaxy far, far away. Reports are that WWE superstar Sasha Banks has been cast for a role in season two of The Mandalorian. Banks is a four-time Raw Women's Champion and has recently been away from wrestling while recovering from an injury. There's no word yet on who she is playing in The Mandalorian, so we'll have to wait until October to see if the reports prove true. Ben Affleck is walking back his comments about why he left the role of Batman. At one point, he was supposed to write, direct, and star in a new movie as the Cape Crusader, but last year he said issues with the script would force him to step away from the role. Now, this week, while speaking to the New York Times, Affleck said it was his time working on the Justice League movie that made him reconsider. He also referred to his personal troubles while shooting that film. Alas, the world of DC carries on as Matt Reeves is now directing a Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson. That's set to release next year. Sticking with Gotham, it looks like Joker might be moving on. Punchline appeared in a one-panel cameo this week in issue number 89 of the current Batman comic. The clown prince of crime had been linked with Harley Quinn for decades, but recent runs have separated the two with Quinn becoming her own independent and fully fleshed out character. But back to Joker's new possible girlfriend, we'll learn more about Punchline in a comic spinoff that will release over the coming weeks. The coronavirus continues to affect the global economy, including the video game industry. This week, Sony Interactive Entertainment tweeted they will not attend PAX East in Boston due to concerns over coronavirus. The company was originally scheduled to have playable demos for some highly anticipated games. Sony has plans to attend other conventions this year, so people will get their hands on those games. Well, that's a look at this week's top nerd news of the week. And make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and WLTX.com. We'll see you next week.